What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is what is going on? I feel like I'm Semantics. having a stroke. Anyway, no stroke here. <laughs> Grand finals. Does anyone else smell toast? <laughs> only butter toast. toast. <laughs> now the only burning that we have right here is the burning of Carflo's sword as we get into Grand Finals. He's already got Mr. E here at the ledge, keeping the pressure up, and already 52%, and that's going to be the stock. Yeah, Mr. E burning that jump a little too soon, but you don't expect a Roy to go down that far. So Mr. E coming from losers, Carful coming from winners, Mr. E having to reset the bracket if they're going to stand a chance to take this tournament. I always love seeing Carflow throw out the, like, short hop down airs. It's such a, a tricky mix-up and not something that you would see very often. Like, you see down air and you think like, oh, that's a laggy-ass move, but... Well, because most Roy's will throw it out when it's at least like the apex of the first jump. This one's Ooh. more like, I'm gonna do it at the last possible frame, but Mr. E, again, the last possible jump out, closing that first stock out. Yep, uh, forcing car flow to air dodge there, and Mystery was still able to find the punish before the air dodge lag ran out. Mystery kind of adjusting himself in his seat as he gets uh, jabbed forward aired for his troubles. What separates that... Mr. E from a lot of other Lucinas is the way they're able to change their momentum in the air off stage. As we saw there, a reversal sight, a reversal shield breaker, and right here we're back on stage and they're already mixing up their movements so beautifully here with how they're ledge trapping and car flow into another stock. Yeah, Mr. E kind of pumping himself up. The ledge scenarios have been where Mr. E has been finding his value so far in this game one, and already we might be seeing another one. Carflow trying to find the high recovery, but that's game one. Oh. As soon as Carflow oh. got put off stage, that was the stock. Was that the fastest stock I've ever seen against Carflow? I think it was. As we Ooh, see here. slingshot. Right? But here we go. Oh, we're seeing this momentum here. Carflow! Carflow actually going back. We got the forward smash and Car Carflow. Yeah, Carflow just air dodges back. Over. Yeah, that was it. Right. The biplats offline as uh, as Mr. E's bans. So let's see where we are taking game two as Carflow's counter pick. We're Town and city. No one goes to town and city with good intentions. Hey, hey, Mr. Carflow is going to rob this man blind. Hey, quick question. Why did we let Roy go to town and city? Town and city is fine with Luciano. What do you mean? Look at all these platforms. Look at all the sharking opportunities. Mr. E will die. Mr. E is in kill percent right now. Because, he, is, because he has allowed Carflow to go to town and city, he is now in kill percent. Nah. These these high these have, high ceilings. Have you seen these short sides? Have you seen double edge dance the hoo hoo ha? I've He's seen dead. it. I don't believe it. Not against Mr. E. Uh oh. Mr. E trying to call it a cross up. Instead, we're getting a offstage situation. And Never goodbye. mind. Hello, it could have gone either City. way. All right, Carpool trying to create a snowball situation, going in with the neutral airs, the Nair plane. Mr. E getting that forward tilt, back air. Mr. E can't close it out. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, Town of City just so good for Carflow, even in this particular matchup. Like, who cares if Carflow dies off the sides earlier? Because I do. In, I mean, in game one, as soon as Carflow got put off stage anyway, it was over. So you may as well take the the closer blast zones. And Carflow right now is taking them to the bank, only taking 12% from that shield breaker. Hello. Oh, that's a yeah. <laughs> I was like, are you really gonna re a re grab against Carflow? Well, you know, we all like to take gambles, I suppose. But Carflow going Ooh, a little too low. That was such low. a risky edge guard attempt from Carflow, making it out with his life. I think Mr. Mr. E actually tried to counter it, but just wasn't uh, fast enough. Uh, yeah, I think that was a little too. Uh, he has re reflexes are on points, Bye, but Town that's not the frame data. Fun Carf Town and City moments. Look, if this was Saturday. We'd have, we'd have, you know, we'd have a KK slider. We would. Oh, Clean beautiful jab lock. Mr. E realizing that that would have been enough for a forward smash and not wanting to stale that instead of just going to rack up damage. Mr. E trying to break through all of this movement. 
Uh, all right, Carflo. You know Carflo is sniffing for blood at the ledge. Mr. E not quite giving him what he wants, but this juggle situation just so good for Carflo right now. Really nice Ooh. kind of delay from Mr. E using that parry, I mean, that counter off stage. It's so safe. All right, set Mr. E up on the platform here, even closer to the blast zones. Uh oh. Good cross Ooh, up. That was. That's almost dead. Yeah, that cross up saved Mr. E's life right there. No, and the, the back, back air. air. <sighs> Please stop letting Roy go to town and city. Never. I mean, it's your funeral. Don't harass my bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a public service announcement. Please love yourself. Do not allow Roy go to go to town and city. As we saw here. A beautiful situation, even in this first stock. But Carvel, you're right, just had too many of these moments where it was a clean stock against Mr. E. Three, two, Mr. E had to fish for those a lot more go. often. Okay, and it looks like Smashville is going to be Mr. E's counterpick of choice. Just a reminder, guys, this is best of three. We all have work tomorrow. So this is the game where either Carflow takes home Xeno 312 or we move on into true finals. For all those folks who are able to take a personal day or a sick day tomorrow, shout out to you. Do it. You deserve it. And you, you know don't what? have to work tomorrow if you, you don't want to. You should be taking PTO for, for Smash Brothers. Exactly. That's Look, we're all brothers here. We'll vouch for you. If you need a doctor's <laughs> note, I'm happy to Photoshop it for you. I, I'm sure someone here is a doctor. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not Ooh. a doctor yet, but my aunt is a doctor, doctor of education. Mr. Mr. E right there, kind of looking like a doctor with the surgical precision on that shield poke, keeping things competitive right now, and a great tech chase. For Look, the first they were stop. a doctor at how masterful that down smash was. Down smash looking like a whole thesis. I'll peer view that. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Carflow now looking no. for the double edge dance. Just swinging. And you know what? Just keep swinging. Mr. E was in an awful situation there. They re grabbed. They're like, if I get up in any other situation, that's going to kill. They had to react. And now Mr. E is going to have to have to react first. Carflow looking to take this, looking to close this out. Mr. E wants this reset so bad, but they're both swinging, missing Mr. E offstage. Mr. Carflow with the jabs, trying to pressure. Oh, oh but another shot. Do it again. Carflow rolled his eyes. This you deserve is not, not going to be killed dead. just yet. No, not from center stage at that percent. But Back there, Car though. yeah, Carflow getting sent just a little bit too far out. Air dodges early, trying to keep the momentum back in his favor. Ooh, clean little ledge trump. Oh, Goodbye! That's what Mr. E was afraid of on that third stock. Being like, if I swing for it, like if I re-grab, that's what's going to happen. Both players now one stock away from taking game three. And Mr. E with the momentum right now, looking like we might be moving into a true no. finals. <gasps> Oh, nobody was happy with that. No. You, nev you never want to win a set like that and get a reset with a buffered air dodge, and you don't want to lose like that. No. It it's one thing to be hit by your opponent. It's another thing to be like, that was my fault. Yeah. But we're going on to a reset. I wanted some more Smash Brothers. I hope you want some more Smash Brothers. As we see here, we see just... Ah. Uh, so getting sent off stage. And then we get off, and no, there was no way to recover. Just the fear from Carvel is realizing their mistake. Okay, so Go ahead. <laughs> this is goofy ass music for True Finals. So this was anxiety music when I was a child going into those like underwater stages. Like I'm going to drown. So I I kind of want to flip side. Go uh, for you it. know. Before Mr. E allowed Carflow to go to town and city, not a great decision. Carflow has now allowed Mr. E to go to Battlefield. Also not the the best decision in the book, because as you were talking about before, that Dolphin Slash just becomes so much safer, and Mr. E gets to throw it out more to disrupt Carflow's momentum. If Car Carflow does have those opportunities with the, uh, what do you call it, the, his up special? Blazer? Blazer, to get up on uh, that top platform and land safely. 
So it's going to be kind of a the blow for blow battle here with these up special, these DPs that are able to break the momentum of either player. Yeah, I mean, Blazer not one you see as often. Yes, it does have super armor, but not nearly as fast as uh, as this the song. Dolphin Holy Flash. shit! What just happened? <laughs> oh yeah! This is the Benny Hill of Smash Brothers. Dude. Oh, Mr. E re-grabbing yeah. a very dangerous situation as it's trying to strike the platform. I mean, we've seen thus far in this set that Carflow has not been able to punish uh, re-grabs without a hard commitment like a down air. Just because, uh, like, Lucina's ledge hang is so low that Carflow is not able to get anything like a down tilt or a jab, which he would usually be able to get. But they it doesn't to matter do when he finds back airs like that. Now, Mr. E... On the back end, Carful is so comfortable at 47%. They start to be a little fancy, maybe relax a little bit. All right, Carful once again getting the party starter, but Mr. E swinging his way out with the down air, still not out of this game one in true finals. That was a bold shield breaker, not quite working out, but another missed air dodge from Carflow bouncing off the stage. And that is a ton of momentum lost for Carflow, potentially. It goes to show that your worst enemy is yourself. Sometimes it'd be like that. And sometimes it'd be like Jer. We're going to game two here in two <laughs> no. Grand Finals. That, that, I f that head shake, that is not what you want to see going into grand game two of true finals. Now, if there was any other place, we'd have best of five, but you really only have one more shot here to stay in the game. It, it is, in fact, Wednesday, my dudes. We have work tomorrow. <sighs> don't, don't remind me. <laughs> Carflow, on the other hand, jive into his music. He's got the AirPods in. Okay, what kind of music do you think Carflow's listening to? I don't know. I feel like whatever it is, it's got to be high tempo. He's young, so it's Chug Jug, obviously. <laughs> All right, Mr. E trying new things here, moving on to Final Destination, saying, all right, I guess all the platforms didn't work out. What about none of the platforms? Lucina does very well on Final Destination against players and characters who don't do well without platforms. This is a very neutral stage for her. And while you're like, yes, Dolphin Slash is going to get me out of the, all these situations on a battlefield or a small battlefield or even a PS2, you're fine here. You're able to follow up with these juggles. You're able to prevent people from landing safely. This is the counter pick for Mystery e right here. And I feel like it also comes down to adapting to your own tool set. We did not see Mr. E pulling out the Dolphin Slash really at all in game one of True Finals. So, you know, if you're not going to rely on it, why rely on the platforms? That being said, though, FD pretty dang good for Roy, as we're going to be seeing as Carflow finds this neutral air. No platforms really necessary for confirmations. Carflow being like, this is not a counter pick. This will never be a counter pick. As we re realizing the situation that they are in, manages to get them off stage. Right, finally, the air dodge working out for Carflow. is able to make it back to ledge but not for long as Mr. E puts himself on the board. Oh, but he's really got to put the momentum back into his favor if we're going to be seeing a game three. Mr. E trying to Ooh. make Harflow swing first, pressuring with these aerials. I, okay, I do like the recognition there from Mr. E, realizing that Carflow was just a little bit too far to reliably uh, follow up on teching to the ledge. But unfortunately, Carflow relentless with the pressure right now, and now one stock away from being Xeno 312's champion. Mr. E having to play Immaculate here. It's not over, but Carflow having a character that can just steal a stock this close? Oh god, the delayed double edge dance. So deadly, putting Mr. E at the ledge once no. again. And the soft down air not taking the stock just yet. But this is probably Mr. E's last interaction if he's not able to find momentum. Mr. E managing to keep Carflow up in the air. That's it for the second stock. Mr. E has to close this out right here. Right now, our Carflow is going to be your champion. Oh, that's so scary, though. Carflow coming back down with respawn invincibility. That was so much 
space that Mr. E had to respect. That time, though, not getting caught by the rolling to the ledge. Mr. E holding on to this final stock for dear life. Wants to see that game three, but will we be seeing it tonight, Swiss Rider? All right, Mr. E getting off on stage. Carful uh -oh. just holding on to their position. What do we see here? <gasps> Waiting out the spot dodge, and this is where Mr. E got all of his value in uh, the previous set. Oh, was the edge Dolphin guards. Slash trying to stage spike. <gasps> Nothing happening. The shield breaker. All right, what do we see for a ledge trap? This is all they have. This is their oh. opportunity to bring it back. No shield breaker, a little too risky. Carful would be able to react. A down smash. This is what Mr. they need. Mr. Mr. E. e! Mr. E is feeling every single hit that he throws out that he connects. Dead even game right now. No! no! Okay, it's all right. Too far from the ledge. 160, 142. Oh my gosh, that miss, the back air. All they need. Everyone needs Dolphin a one hit. Online, the up tilt. up tilt is going to be taking it. And the pop off from Mr. E. We got game three true finals, baby. I won. Mr. E looking very happy with how they handle that. When you're on the back foot and you're 100% above your opponents, you have to be aware of every single moment of that. What do you think uh, both players can do here? Carflow has the advantage when it comes to the counter pick. Carflow does, in fact, have counter pick advantage in our game three. And I'm, I do want to. Mr. E has left Town and City on the board for game three. Yeah, as you saw those, uh, you know, the up airs, up airs. But right here, as we're seeing this final interaction, it was just the back air even missing. And all we had was that up tilt, something that Lucina's really throw when they're desperate, being like, if I'm far enough away to throw it. Oh, Town and City, though, as you said, this is some, this is a place where Carflow did so well last time they brought Mr. E to it. Carflow right now, as far as I'm concerned, is the mayor of both the town and the city. The mayor? Come on, he's not that wealthy. He hasn't won that many Xenos. <laughs> Maybe I'm one day. I mean, the way that this stage kind of bends to his will, it is definitely looking like that. But Mr. E looking for, I don't do you impeach a mayor? Can you do that? Can that you, yeah, you no, know, you can recall a mayor. Recall, okay. It's a recall election. Okay. <laughs> like a defective unit. Yes. All right, dead even first stocks right now. Carflow maybe trying to faint going to that platform, but you know Mr. E is going to be sharking that and instead finding the neutral air for the first stock. All right, Mr. E up ahead one whole stock with a 120. It's only going to take one maybe a double-edged sword or maybe a one forward smash to take them to their, maybe take them to their second stock. And Carflow, such a momentum-based player. As soon that, as that momentum is taken away, Mr. E running away with a 60% extra credit. Finally, Carflow back on the board, but a lot, a lot more damage to go. There's no momentum here. It's blow for blow. Interaction by interaction. This is not a snowball momentum. This is people going for interaction for interaction. And Mr. E loses their jump! One Last stock suck. away right now. Carflow is from taking Xeno 312, sliding off the platform. So Mr. E's not able to find any sort of uh, a follow up there, any sort of shark. Oh my gosh. My heart, my soul, my garlic roll. Mr. E needs to take the second stock if they're even going to stand a chance against Carflow. But Mr. E staying calm under pressure once again, just knowing when he's able to swing out of disadvantage and disrupt that momentum from Carflow. We are back into a dead even last stock, 50s apiece. Mr. Game e three. tried to call out an immediate shield, and it probably wouldn't have destroyed the shield, but it definitely would have put them in a position. Oh my gosh, Amazing what do we see? Crap. No, trying Looking to get for that. A two frame. No two frame here. Uh oh. One more stock apiece. Mr. E in the funny numbers. What a parry from Carflow, and he's able to find Mr. E. <gasps> Amazing no. tech! Okay, what are they going for? Trying to go for the four tilt. Oh. Trying to catch that tech, and nothing's happening. Carflow is on the last edge. Attack to save the life! No, grab. Or they're no not grab gonna release. Be killing, but you reset the ledge trap scenario. Four tilt. No, up tilt. Not Town enough to kill. City. Thank you, Town and City. 
Carflow's counterpick saving his life there on the up tilt. 151, but and another up tilt to not oh! take it. Carflow can still take this. Just stale With enough that rage. for Carflow to hold on to his last stock. Ah! Oh, and another up tilt takes that it. He's going to be taking third times the charm. And game three, third time is the charm for Mr. E as he is your Xeno 312 champion. Mr. E feeling so good about that, knowing that they, they've they talked about this so many times where they want to come out to locals more often. And as we see here, we're seeing an interaction on that first stock. It was definitely car flows to lose. And we're seeing a beautiful Nair to take that. And another one here, car flow. This is where I was worried car flow would have taken this uh, set. With these moments where they grab or they get like a jab into a back or a forward air. But Mr. E was able to keep their momentum, keep their mind intact. And this was the most heartbreaking where they yeah. dropped their jump. And just the resilience of Mr. Right? E. Like the, it's only... over. There's nothing. And that that is death right there. This pain. Like all the pain. Not only taking true finals against Carflow from loser's side, but taking a fantastic game six against on town and city, nonetheless. Carflow's, Carflow's home, Mr. E was able to take it. Beautiful back air right there, bringing that to last stock. And as we see here, the very final interaction, just this entire last right? stock. So we have a shield right here, right? And we just have enough frame data to land. So what do we see? We either see a jump, we see a jab, or we see an up tilt and anything Carflow could actually just hold this, right? They could just hold it. They're very safe. But if we go... Oh, they went for a grab. So as we see right here, the grab Look at missing. Roy. Roy is doing the most like, hey, dab me up. Right. But as we see here, like, they're just... They're too low, right? So they're going to grab. We go frame by frame. They miss. And ah, we didn't even, like, get that. So we Instead, we just got an immediate up tilt. And we're just going, it's oh, there's a spot dodge. dodge, missing the grab, and Roy is dead, Carflow losing, but going to second place, never a bad time here Absolutely at Xeno Weekly. Not. So if we could see the bracket, I do want to shout out everybody who made top eight, top 10 if possibly. Congratulations to Mr. E for winning grand finals here. Carflow for coming in second, Vivi coming in third. Yeah, Mr. E also coming from loser's side of bracket, having dropped to Melly in uh, winner's quarters of, yeah, winner's quarters of bracket. So yeah, just a fantastic loser's run, taking it over LRA, John Numbers, Melly, the, actually the run back from Melly, I didn't yeah. even catch that earlier, and then Vivi. Oh, this was an amazing bracket. LRA start? I didn't even see their, them play. I must have been off st off uh, stream. It is what it is. But congratulations to everybody coming here, playing their hearts out for those viewing and for all the casters who have been here tonight. I know you've been holding it down for most of the we, time. How you know, are you? We've been having a good time. I'm, good. I've absolutely been enjoying my time here. And before we let you guys go tonight, just as a reminder, we're here at Xeno Weeklies. We're here literally every Wednesday for $15 for top level smash. Like this is really the weekly that you go to if you want to level up and you already, you've already seen, this is the level that you're going to be seeing here. Yeah. So make sure you are following at House for 3000 on Twitch. You can also look for updates at Devin 3000 on Twitter, where you will be seeing all of the, um, all of the matches get tweeted out as they are happening. Also, hashtag free HO3K. Please, it's been so long. If you want to level up your game though and you feel a little intimidated by the talent that you see on display here on Wednesdays, come to Bombs. It's every single Monday. We do Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's a 64 player cap, no pools, a very cheap entry, and you can get all the friendlies you want. Trust me, we are very nice. We'll give you tips. We, you can play some of the best of the best here without any fear of being like, well, I'm gonna get like two stock. No, 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 it's okay. They're here to help. And, and uh, the thing ahead. is, even if you do get two stock, it's going to be streamed on the amazing quad stream and uploaded to the YouTube channel 
thanks to the wonderful level ups in production here at House of 3000, NYC's premier production for esports. I mean, you saw earlier, we were popping off. Did you guys see the overlay disappearing when Vivi pulled up Hero Menu? It was so cool. It was, it was so, so cool. cool. <laughs> and How you do you can, do it? Nobody knows. You can support level ups like that by following on Twitter, Devin3000. Also, we are now on Blue Sky and YouTube, and you can come hang out on the Discord. And also, is that really Blue Sky's logo? Yeah, uh, it's, it's literally just, like, just a blue sky. It's just, just a, a with sky. Clouds. It, yeah, it's a picture of a sky, and we're like, well, we I gotta guess. make it yellow like everything else, so now <laughs> it's guess. like the piss dimension. <laughs> the yellow sky. Follow us in the piss dimension. The, the guy who ran Twitter apparently doesn't have enough money to uh, to you know, hire an artist to make an actual blue sky. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are feeling particularly generous or you have one of those Twitch Primes laying around, you can throw a subscription our way, keep the roof over this Kirby's head, and get some more channel points for yourself so that you can participate in voting on the quad stream as well. I do like that quad stream. If you like that quad stream too, be sure to subscribe, the, follow, and share the stream. The way that the meta is developing around the quad stream is so funny. I yeah, love, I love actually seeing a meta the bidding around wars the quad so much. <laughs> the the so bidding funny. wars are fun. But what, do you think there's like a meta towards like Station 1, Station 2? No, I think what it really comes down to is like the matches. Like I've said ah. before, like if you're if you're voting on like say a John Numbers match, you are simply getting more seconds of stream per channel point. Also, like there will be other people who will out channel point you because they're like, John Numbers again? No, <laughs> not until top 24. I mean, that's the meta. It's like John Numbers feels like the channel point meta, but then you've got the counter meta coming in as more people start to vote away from that. I don't know, it's... Could we get a tier list for the <laughs> stream stations? List. Yeah, come on, we gotta have that. But you know we gotta what? get more stream stations for that. We should start collecting statistics on like who actually Quad gets Quad stream telemetry. For. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Who gets voted for most, but... That's enough bullshitting around from us. I've been Force Armor. You can follow me at Force Armor on Twitter. Eventually, Blue Sky, when I get around to using my invite. Tell you what, I'll give you an invite. I literally have an invite. Oh I've my had god! It. I've had it, it for weeks. All right, have a it good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. We'll see, we'll you, see soon. you soon.